Do you think Elite Dangerous is dead? No. Oh, so you are playing? I know. We all had our fair share. But perhaps a new era may be beginning in Elite Dangerous. Frontier announced that new ships are coming to the game, and total of four new ships will meet players in 2024. Apart from this, we now know that the key feature overhaul in the summer of 2024 will be a new power play, and there are new developments regarding the Thargoid War. Elite may not be dead, so let's talk about that. Hug for Buck. First of all, I have to say that this is a big surprise for me and I was not expecting it at all. As someone who hasn't played the game for a long time, I was slowly starting to think that the game was abandoned. Frankly, the news about developers constantly leaving the game, Frontier's financial situation, and the fact that the company barely mentioned the Elite Dangerous name in their reports took me a little bit away from the game. However, Frontier signalled that it has not given up on Elite yet in its new format Frontier Unlocked yesterday. First, they showed artworks of a new version of the Python-type ship that will be added to the game soon. At first glance, I think it looks like a much more aggressive and combat-oriented version and I think it looks great. What pleases me most about the design is that it was worked in detail and meticulously. Of course, this is not a brand new ship, it is a variation of an existing ship, but it is still enough reason to look at the future with hope. They said that there will be four more new ship variants by the end of the year, but we do not have much information about these new ships. Of course, it is useful to be realistic as well as hopeful. Time will tell whether this is a truly serious work or a nice picture frame that has not yet been filled. Even though it may have disappointed me in the past, I tend to believe promises made for myself. Hopefully these new ships are more than just cosmetics. Another issue is the key feature overhaul, which will come in the summer update. It is said that this feature will be a new power play. Even though power play remains a meaningless aspect of the game for my taste, I think an interactive, purposeful and well-designed PowerPlay 2.0 could work. However, I would prefer the key feature overhaul to be about new discoveries and not about PowerPlay. As I've said in previous videos, if Elite Dangerous is going to be a vibrant game again, exploration will be what drives it in my opinion. But it's too early to make a judgement about it, we have to wait and see. Finally, the biggest change we will see in the near future will be in the Thargoid War. Personally, I think this war will move from stations and planets to titans. I think it was very enjoyable to kill hydras with a large team, and I think it will be even more enjoyable to do this with titans. I hope getting to titans won't be as complicated and difficult as it is now and everyone can do it. So, I hope this development means something, and I hope they are the signals of a new chapter for Elite Dangerous. Even though I have thousand questions and a bitter taste from my previous hopeful times, I choose to believe that Frontier is really serious about this. Thanks for watching Commanders, please subscribe and like if you like to support my channel, and thanks for not losing hope on Elite. See you.